I think the first thing that strikes me about that is how, um, how either or it is. And, and, and the reality is we can do both. I mean, we are doing both. The, I don't people realize the fastest growing part of charity today is overseas giving, people giving to overseas uh, uh, poor folks, very, very poor folks in foreign countries. And I mean, the numbers are actually striking. Let me quickly give you those numbers. The, the numbers are that uh, uh, voluntary giving to the poor overseas in the latest year for which we have data was $39 billion. And official government aid to that same population was $31 billion. So it's already a big, um, a big emphasis. Uh, and much is th the same is true in, in, about poor folks in, in our country. Um, and I, you know, I think it, you have to be really careful about anointing one portion of, of uh, philanthropy or one corner as being you know, OK or desirable, and another portion being undesirable or even immoral. That's kind of where some of these arguments are heading, and I think mm -hmm. it's a huge mistake. Just for instance, take the whole thing about universities. I mean, universities are favorite punching bag now, Dory. You know that. And people say, oh, those are rich institutions. Why would you ever give money to MIT? Well, keep in mind, yes, MIT or Hopkins or any of these other places are rich institutions, but that's where vaccines come from for poor people. That's where inexpensive cell phones come that transform life in third world countries. So the idea that you know, anything that isn't strictly you know, a soup kitchen or the equivalent of is, is the only thing that really helps poor people is really, I think, misguided. And then there's the last aspect of this, which is, you know, who says poor, poor people don't need parks? Who says poor people don't appreciate music? I mean, do those things not matter? Uh, you know, is, is it somehow a waste of money or, 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 a, or an unjustifiable expense to, to, um, you know, to invest in a telescope that's going to help physicists really understand our, our origins? I think that's, that's a borderline inhumane argument.